New details emerge about life with disgraced YouTuber Ruby Frankie. The Washington County Attorney's Office in Utah has released an interview with Kevin Frankie, the influencer's estranged husband, conducted after her arrest on child abuse charges in August. While speaking to authorities, Kevin details how Ruby expected him to behave while the pair, then separated, were living under the same roof. He says it was during this time that Ruby's business partner Partner, Jody Hildebrandt, who was also arrested for child abuse, had moved in with them. He alleges there were all these rules now placed on me, like I can leave when I want, but I couldn't come back until Ruby gave me permission, adding I couldn't come into the kitchen to eat until Ruby gave me permission, and the upstairs where Jody was was completely offline. I couldn't go upstairs anymore in my own house. He adds Ruby would dictate all of the terms of how our interactions would be, when we would talk, and and that was hard. E! News has previously reached out to Kevin, Ruby, and Jody's lawyers for comment regarding his interview, but has not yet heard back. In the same interview, Kevin also shared how Ruby, with whom he shares six kids, first became involved in what he described as a religious cult named Connections, which Jody established as a life coaching service in 2007. According to NBC News, Connections was based on principles of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. When Jody subsequently moved in with their family in 2021, Kevin remembers Jody and Ruby started sleeping in the same bed. He said Ruby started having, quote, trances where she, quote, believed that she was going to heaven and seeing God and Jesus and talking with them. Eventually, Kevin decided he wanted to move on with life, and he and Ruby got an in-home separation before he filed for divorce this past December. His lawyer said in a September interview that the pair had been living apart for more than a year before Ruby's August arrest. Ruby and Jody were ultimately arrested after Ruby's 12-year-old son sought help from a neighbor, leading authorities to find his 10-year-old sister at Ruby's home. According to a case summary from the Washington County Attorney's Office, both children were emaciated and in need of care upon their discovery. In December, both Ruby and Jody pleaded guilty to four counts of child abuse as part of a plea deal, and in February, both were sentenced to four to 30 years in prison. During her sentencing hearing, which was streamed live, Ruby apologized to her husband and children, saying, quote, for the past four years, I've chosen to follow counsel and guidance that has led me into a dark delusion. My distorted version of reality went largely unchecked as I would isolate from anyone who challenged me.